Hey there everybody, this is Lee with Creative Two Time Mom and this video is going to be part of the Homeschool ABC Collab series. This week's letter is the letter M for Mommy Monster. So the Homeschool ABC Collab series is a series of videos here on YouTube created by homeschoolers where we collaborate together each week to talk about the letter of the alphabet. This week's letter is the letter M and I'm going to be talking about the mommy monster. So have you ever heard the old saying, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy? Well, just like our kids, sometimes I have a bad day and then the mommy monster comes out and then everybody's day kind of turns cranky. So I want to be talking about five tips for taming that mommy monster. Tip number one, get enough sleep. And this is the biggest one for me. And I think it's the biggest one for a lot of homeschooling moms. A lot of times after the kids go to bed and it's quiet in the house and you have time to either watch a TV show or read a book or play a game or just hear the peace and quiet. It is so hard for me to turn my brain off at night because I am just enjoying my alone time. But I have quickly discovered that if I don't get enough sleep, I am so cranky. My senses are all on edge. Every little sound or noise, even giggles and laughter can send me just Ugh, it makes my teeth grit and I know it all comes down to just not having enough sleep so my tip number one is set yourself a bedtime make sure you get at least eight hours of sleep and occasionally try to get a couple extra hours just so that you're well rested it makes you a better teacher and it absolutely makes you a better mom tip number two get a good breakfast and this is a hard one for me I don't like eggs um, I don't like to do shakes in the morning, but I have discovered that usually around 10 o'clock, if I don't get a good breakfast, I start to get a little spacey. It's a little bit harder to teach math. It's a little bit harder to juggle multiple students. So I have discovered in the mornings, I like overnight oatmeal, which I've done a couple of videos on that. Um, a smoothie is really quick, fast, and easy. Sometimes I will mash up a banana with some peanut butter. I know it's weird, but it's fast and it keeps me going for the rest of the morning. Tip number three, try to take small breaks throughout the day. As my kids are having lunch every day, I tell them that is their time to play and be social with each other and to get out, be out on the trampoline, to be outside playing tag. And then that's kind of mommy's time to decompress um, before we go into some of our more group subjects in the afternoon. Gives me a little bit of time to do that last minute curriculum uh, refinement before our lessons. Plus it gives me a few minutes to just decompress, sit down, have an actual lunch, and to just kind of hear my own thoughts for a few minutes. Tip number four goes along with that, and I require my kids to read every day. So while they're reading, I make myself read, and that is kind of part of one of the breaks that I have built into my day, but it also gives me a chance to kind of have my own thing. I know a lot of us out there are readers, and so it gives me a chance to say, I will be disciplined, just as I'm encouraging my children to read, I'm going to model that same behavior and I'm going to take some time for myself and read my own book. Tip number five is essential oils. And I just ordered this. With, this was on a BOGO, I believe about a month ago. Um, it's the roll-on bottle of Peace and it came with Cheer. And I really thought Cheer was going to be the one that I was going to love because I knew it was going to be an uplifting blend. I am loving this piece. It completely like helps me get my emotions in check throughout the day. Um, it helps me gain perspective, which I think is the biggest thing is just being able to have the perspective of we're all learning and having grace for each other. So I normally typically don't recommend essential oils, but this one I would absolutely recommend for me. It has been a great addition to my homeschool day. 
So I hope you will try these five tips for taming the mommy monster. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what are your tips for when you're just having a rotten, no good, horrible, very bad day. <laughs> and if you want to join the collaboration, you're welcome to join any week that you would like. Just make a video like this one and make sure you mention and add the playlist to your description. And then leave me a link down below so I can add you to the playlist as well. Hope you guys are having a great week. Make sure you hit that thumbs up on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.